Today we are talking about filtration through sea light. It happens fairly often in the organic chemistry laboratory that you have to filter off a very fine particulate from a solution. Sometimes the particulate is so fine that it would go through the pores of your regular filter paper. So you need to use a filtering aid. The most common filtering aid is diatomaceous earth, normally called sea light. So diatoms are phytoplankton which have a microporous calcium carbonate shell on the outside. So you see all those little holes? Those are a lot smaller than the normal pores in your filter paper, so they will act as a sieve and they will aid your filtration. Filtering through sea light is a two-step process. First, you have to prepare the filter and then you can perform the actual filtration. So you will need a Buchner funnel, a clean filtering flask with a vacuum adapter, and a piece of filter paper that fits perfectly inside your Buchner funnel. It cannot be too small, obviously, or too big that it climbs on the walls of the funnel. Then you set up your filtering apparatus, and clamp the filtering flask. As usual, you want to wet the filter paper before you start filtering. So you use the same solvent that you have in your solution, in my case is ethyl acetate, so I will use ethyl acetate. Now your filter is nicely stuck to the bottom of the funnel. You break the vacuum and you add a little bit of sea light. You just need a couple of millimeters thick layer at the bottom of the funnel. So a couple of scoops full are going to be more than enough. Then you add some ethyl acetate Notice that there's no vacuum applied and you swirl the funnel around so that you distribute evenly the sea light on the bottom of the funnel. Then you apply the vacuum and you end up with a very uniform layer of sea light at the bottom of your funnel. It might happen that some of the powder goes through and uh, it ends up in your filtering flask. This is normal. So the only thing you have to do is remove the filter, wash the filtering flask, and come back with a clean flask. Now you are ready to filter. You can put the funnel back. And in this case, you want the filtrate, that is the liquid. You just want to get rid of the solid that will become waste. When you filter through sea light, it's very important not to disturb the surface of the sea light, so you don't want to dig divots while you are pouring your solution. You can either pour very carefully and very slowly, or you can add a second piece of filter paper on top so it will break the fall and you won't dig divots into the surface of the sea light. And then you can filter as usual. You may want to rinse your flask with some of the solvent and rinse the sea light as well to make sure that none of the product is trapped in the sea light bed. And then you add that solvent to your solution. So this will become waste. And what you are interested in is the clear solution at the bottom of the filtering flask. 